Five Points, been here for 84 years, sort of notorious. Every uh, famous musician in Seattle has been kicked out. Seattle's Five Point Cafe was one of the first businesses in Seattle to go gun-free. I like guns. I don't think people need to carry guns to get a hamburger. Owner Dave Minard, at the urging of Seattle's mayor, helps recruit other Seattle businesses to declare themselves gun-free zones as well. The idea is that if, if a lot of private businesses get together and ban guns, then it makes uh, carrying guns kind of an unfriendly thing in Seattle and changes the conversation around gun ownership. This week, another business joined that conversation, the 100th since August. It doesn't take much to do it. Sign up online and display a sticker. These businesses are taking action because the city hasn't been able to. For years, the city of Seattle tried to ban guns in public places like this park. But the Washington state courts ruled that cities have no authority to regulate guns. But private businesses can regulate. They can tell people to wear shoes and shirts, and they can tell them to leave their guns elsewhere. We think the gun-free zone concept is kind of stupid. Alan Gottlieb founded the Second Amendment Foundation in 1974. His group is collecting signatures to fight a campaign for stricter state background checks for gun sales. As for gun-free zones, he says there are thousands of businesses in Seattle. And having 100 sign up isn't much to brag about. They don't solve any, stop any crimes from happening. They don't, they don't make people safer. You know, but it's private property. If a person wants to go do it and alienate gun owners who might go there and shop or spend money, that's their privilege to do so. Back at the Five Point, owner Dave Minard says he hasn't lost any business, but he has seen threats of boycotts and bad reviews. For him, declaring his business gun-free is a statement worth making. It is a symbolic thing for sure. I mean, we don't think that by declaring gun-free zones, we're going to, that alone is going to end gun violence. But I think it is a symbolic thing, and in a political battle, symbolism has an effect, and it's important. The anti-gun violence group Washington Ceasefire is coordinating this campaign. Its leaders say groups in other parts of the country have approached them to see how to get similar programs up and running. Tanya Mosley, Al Jazeera, Seattle.